the world's best mogul skiers are on this course right now. And I'm going to see if I still got it. I did it. Hello, we are back in the video game and this time it's quite different. We are on our way to Surmat, ready for skiing. It's been seven months since I skied the last time and uh, my goal is to get back on skis, get that good feeling, have fun. It's not so easy tr to travel these days. I do everything I can to be, to be safe and to follow the restrictions and, and the rules. Sermat means quite a lot to me actually. I've been here the past 13 years uh, since I started mogul skiing when I was 11 years old and I was here with the, the mobile t ski team. Everyone has been affected by COVID in different ways. And I think um, for sure, me as an athlete and also living in Norway have been pretty lucky. Uh, but it's also been hard to not being able to do, do my sport and do my, my work kind of. I haven't had this far or I haven't had this long period of not skiing since I was 11 years old uh, so that's been weird. Looking back at this season um, competing on the Fred Walter for the second year. It was mixed, like it was amazing. It was such a fun um, adventure and journey, but having to cut it short with not being able to finish the, the final in Verbia was for sure uh, tough. Um, it was hard for me as I were so close to uh, to become the world champion and uh, I couldn't you know I didn't get that last chance so uh, yeah so that was um, that was difficult in a way feels so good to be back in Sermat. I felt I could just breathe again. being more stable and more um, able to adjust uh, by being smoother and having like a better position with my hips and my knees and my upper body. Correct? It's exactly that. Yes! <laughs> I travel to Zermatt by myself, so I'm here alone. But my my mobile ski friends are here, so I'll probably see them on, see them on the slope. You know, pre-season training for me. Well, the first thing I think about is moguls because that's that's what I've done for so many years, and I I still feel like moguls is a good way of training for me um, to get the jumps and to have some of the explosivity 
in my legs. Maybe I should should try. Cause they're right there. I'm a bit nervous. <laughs> but I have the thin skis with me and I'm ready. Now I just have to do it. I did it. I did the backflip. <laughs> it felt amazing to land it. It's, I mean, being upside down in the air is, is a pretty good feeling, so... Uh, I'll do it more. <laughs> it was so much fun to ski moguls again. It's, it's been a year, but... Uh, and I can feel I'm a bit rusty. <laughs> but it's, uh, it's so much fun. Like, I think I've never had that much fun skiing moguls when I was competing in moguls. Because then I did it every day, you know, it's, it's different. Covid has been um, mixed feelings. It's been difficult in many ways, but it's also made me be more creative, especially in the training. Because the gym has been closed and having to just use what you have and using the nature or using what you have inside, I think has been a um, big learning. And, uh, and I feel fairly strong, so I think it hasn't ruined too much of my strengths. I have one more year at university, um, and one more year for my bachelor to be done, which I'm really excited about. I Sometimes I feel like, should I really use this much time on studying? So it's, uh, it's definitely time consuming. It's I'm not resting a lot, like, I think I've watched one movie the last six months, so I don't sit down, it's like, it's like this. Day. It and looks so nice. I'm so excited to ski. Kaisa is a Swedish skier and we work with the same partners. We work with Peak Performance and Puck. And it's so cool to, to team up with her and to, to be here in Surma together. So I got to know Hedvig a few years back. I remember one time, I think it was her like first time on the competition. And it was my second year, I think. And me and my friend were skiing home and she was just on this super steep icy slope all by herself. She was so new to, to the like free ride scene. And I had to guide her down the mountains like, no, a bit more right. No, 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 a bit more left, a bit more right. And then she made it down eventually. And I think that's like my first impression of Hedwig that she was just like fearless, really. <laughs> So nice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's so beautiful here. I know. It's perfect Amazing. weather. Yeah. It's crazy. Okay. Well, um, so the park is over there. I haven't tried it yet. Nice. Or wherever. Yeah. And just uh, let's get into it. Yeah. Let's get skiing. <laughs> Territory. <laughs> I am gonna try 360, which uh, is a bit scary because um, I'm not that good at it, but I want to be better and then I need to practice. <laughs> Oh, 
fun. Makes me so happy. I think for me it doesn't the weather doesn't need to be perfect, the snow doesn't need to be, you know, crazy amounts and powder. I sometimes I just feel like, you know, skiing pissed and uh, jumping in the, the smallest jumps in the park is is enough and that's perfect. And these days have really been uh, what I needed and what I wanted for the preseason start. And uh, I think that Norwegian words really describes it well. Uh, it's been uh, just uh, and uh, joy being on that. <laughs>